Hello Snack Pack, welcome back to Travel Snacks. Today's van conversion journey is all about cutting bolts and getting rid of wires. In today's episode, we try to get rid of those pesky last remaining bolts in the floor of the van. We rip out all the wires, disconnecting a couple important ones in the process, and I accidentally cut my dad's finger with a saw, which makes me feel terrible, but that's what's going on. There's a lot in this episode, so let's jump right in. We are not professionals. If you follow any of the things we do in this video, it's at your own risk. Starting with a trip to Home Depot because we had to get some other saw things to cut off the bolts in the floor. So we got this, whatever this is, blade, this other kind of blade, and this attachment. There's a pin, you gotta get that one hole on the end of this. Yeah, ready? Go. So I, mean, I don't want you to slice my fingers open. I'm not. <gasps> Got one! It's real hot. We need some more. We need some more. That's it. Some more. I can almost stand up. We can put this on first. Lift it up. Here, I'm going to do it. Then we should Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. Just hold down. Woohoo! It, it happens in all any blade I buy after you use it for a while. That's why I go forward and backwards because there's there's like back here it's brand new. Right. Up here it's a little less. So that's a trick I learned. Cool. So I, mean, I don't want you to slice my fingers open. I'm not. Let me see your injury. I'm gonna stop it. This is a puncture wound. Wait, stay there. That's nothing. Come on. I cut my dad's finger off. Do you need to go to the hospital? Get a bigger knife. A bigger <laughs> knife? I see some really blood flowing. Dad. Oh my gosh. I injured my dad. <laughs> Sorry, Dad. Don't put me in charge of tools anymore. <laughs> yeah, we just cut this carpet out. This giant chunk of carpet. And we gotta be very careful because there's a lot of wires under here. My dad was available for two hundred dollars an hour. That's cheap. Okay, so we got half of the carpet out. We still have, I think we're gonna end up cutting it like right up to the seat now because I forget why. Oh, because this looks dumb, but we'll get to that. Now we found this big piece of wood. Hope there's not a hole under here. Don't do any more, no, no, don't take a chance. Nope. Okay. God, what's going to be under here? Please, Lord. Uh -huh. Oh, boy. I think we need the pry bars. Okay. Mom never does anything. Mom out there hauling again. Oh, no. Today she's breaking. Uh, if you're not already subscribed, what are you doing? Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and throw a like on it. Oh wait, here's one. I missed one. Okay, go. Ready? Oh. All right, so at least there's not a big hole under here. Well, what's this? There was a hole. Somebody patched. Okay, well. We're gonna try to take out the wires in the roof first. Let me see if this pops off. And then we'll tackle all that. button 
tells me that if we cut this patch, we can cut those all the way up into inside the roof. We're trying to remove this wheelchair dock. That wire goes under the front chair, down under this carpet, and into the dash. Okay, so now all we need is that little bundle to come out. Wherever that goes to. So if you've watched some of the other videos of this van conversion, you'll notice that even though I set out to do things in order, like remove the wheelchair lift, remove the bench seat, rip out all the interior, there's always things that kind of get in the way that you have to stop and do this and do that. And that's why van conversions take so dang long. Also, if you are doing a van conversion, don't get discouraged. Just take things one step at a time. It's all part of the journey. And even though it can be super, super frustrating, just continue with the process and take it one task at a time. You also may think that you have a process in mind, but sometimes that process goes out the window. So for example, taking out the wires, we thought, okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna tape up every little wire and label it and make sure it's perfect and make sure everything. And then all of a sudden we look down and there's like a huge mound of wires and we're just like, I mean, I feel like we could just cut most of these. So now that all the bolts and wires are out, Guess what's next? Cutting off the roof. Yep, you heard it right. We are cutting off the roof of the van. I know that that might sound insane, but I do want to be able to stand up in my van. And so we're gonna just try some things and see what happens. So the next video that you're gonna see is us cutting off the roof and taking it off. So stay tuned for the next video. <music> Snack time. Snack time.